I have a question. Yeah. So if um, Trisha go, well, if we go in and um, set up our Google Analytics 4 with the tag managers, if I understand that's where we're going at, um, will I have to add code to my site um, for that, even though I have a uh, site kit? So, um, so there's a couple of questions. There's a couple things in their statement up. We need to clarify. Uh -huh. So, okay, SiteKit is a plugin on WordPress sites that allows you to add code to a website. You can add all kinds of different code. You can add Google Analytics. You can add Google Tag Manager. Right. So if you are using Tag Manager to serve your code, you should not also use SiteKit to serve Google Analytics. Let me say that again. If you're using Google Tag Manager to serve your Google Analytics, do not also serve Google Analytics in SiteKit. Oh, you mean when you say serve, like connect them? Well, so here's the thing. You can connect them and then tell SiteKit don't send this information to the website because you're sending it to the website through Tag Manager. Okay. I made this mistake. I need to check that. And it double counted every visitor to a client's website. Um, okay. Need, all right, so I need to check that because I remember. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I wanna, I'm, I'm just <laughs> looking let me, let into me my. See. So Maybe I'm getting confused with Google Analytics 4 and setting up um, Tag Manager. Maybe I'm getting that confused. So, pardon me. Let me, uh, let me just log in and see if I can show a screen. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo. Okay. So let's right. see, Analyt I have Tag Manager connected, Analytics is connected, but I don't see where you say don't serve it. Let me see. Okay, you okay, let's. You sharing your screen? I'm or? gonna share my screen. Okay. So here is SiteKit for Curious Ants. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I go to settings under SiteKit. And I've got all four of these things set up mm -hmm. through SiteKit. Search Console, Analytics, PageSpeed Insights, Tag Manager. This is the feature we want. Snippet is, is not, not insertable. Insert. Okay, so let me let me see what mine says. Right. Mine says, oh, uh-oh, the snippet is inserted. Wait a minute. Okay, so I went to settings, and then where did we go after settings? Okay, let's just, okay, settings. Uh-huh. And so if in your tag manager account, not in SiteKit, but in your tag manager, you're serving Google Analytics. Mm -hmm. Okay. This means Tag Manager is sending is is adding Google Analytics to your website, right? Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, I want to make sure that Tag Manager is not inserting the Google Analytics code. Also, oh, mine says it is. So if you're too. using Tag Manager, you go and you edit and you click this button. Place the uh -huh. universal analytics code. I don't want to because I'm using Tag Manager to do that. Okay, so edit. Okay, so undo place universal analytics and then say confirm changes. Right, site kit will not add the code to your site, which we don't need to do because Tag Manager is doing that for us. Oh, okay. Right? I would hit confirm changes if I hadn't already done this. Okay, so um, I have a question. If we had the snippet inserted along with Tag Manager, and then 
I guess now that we changed it to not inserted, would that make any difference on reports or anything? Yeah, it means your reports were doubled. Before. Double reporting. Oh, okay. So the advantage of connecting your analytics account, but not adding it, not inserting the snippet, is that it will allow you to see your information in your WordPress dashboard. Uh, I see, okay. That's um, why most people do that. Okay. So Hello. you can see, oh, look, I got this many visitors. Isn't this awesome? Wow, amazing. Right, it's page speed experience. Okay, great. Like this tells you speed and all that jazz. Right. Um, okay. So, <laughs> um, right. so uh, okay. that's what. But but what I'm recommending you do is set up Tag Manager, then use Tag Manager to add your code. This offers several advantages yeah. to you, mostly that you can manage all your code in one space in your Tag Manager account. But just make sure that Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I I I tell you, don't feel bad. I realized I was doing this with a client. I, I'm glad you did tell me this cuz I need to go back and check. Um so also, I think, so I think when I connected this, I don't know what I was doing. So, and I also have it set for like the raw, the raw backup data. Is that correct? What do you mm -hmm. have yours set on? Oh, come on, computer. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, when you click on your edits there. Edit in analytics? Uh-huh. That or, should oh, go. Oh, no, just edit it there at the bottom. You have all website data. Always. Okay, so I don't know. Let me see. So that would be like my master view, I think. That's probably what you have it. Yeah, pro I think that's probably what you have it named. Okay. Um, remember, we created these views. There's a testing one for when we got to change something, backup. Yeah. But it never ever change. What this all this is doing is saying which view do you want to see the snapshot of in Google Analytics? Okay, so because that the Google really Analytics code shows data to all the views. Mm hmm. So this is really stating which view do you want to see? In WordPress dashboard. In WordPress with SiteKit. Yes. Okay. Right? So that really, okay. As the property gives us the ID number. Yeah. That it's how it knows okay. which code to send information to. Okay. But. Yeah, and that's because that was hmm. why we got into this. Yeah. So next week, when we get our report on Mondays, it will probably be less this time because it's not double reporting. So if you made that mistake, what I would do is go into Google Analytics today and make a note to yourself that says removed extraneous. Google Analytics code or something that you will remember. Mm -hmm. You know, you know how to do that. No, can you show me? All right, let's do that. Yeah. Let me stop sharing in case this shows something I don't want to show. Okay. All right. Let me share screen again. All right. So this is where it. This is where it took me. So all I really want to go to is, I, I can go to any of my reports. Let's just go to all traffic channels. And 
I have to have today selected because by the, remember Google Analytics works late. It doesn't show, at least Universal Analytics doesn't show very good real time. GA4 will start to show more real time data, mm -hmm. which is one of the advantages. So I really have to, because this includes up to yesterday, I really have to go and select the date to be today, which has to be September 1st. Okay. And see this little arrow down here underneath the date? Mm -hmm. Really subtle. Click on that, and it opens up this little thing to create new annotation. If I create new annotation, I can put whatever I want in there. <clears throat> so um, I'm just going to put that in there. So now, whenever I view any, well, actually, that's not going to work really well. But like I select a time period, as long as it includes a day with a note, whenever I go here and open this note, it's, it makes a note here. You'll see, well, this isn't a good example, but you'll see there's a little note here as well. Let me let me show up. Let me show you a better example. Let's go and do August 18th. Hello. Okay. See how there's a little note marker here? Yeah. On August 18th. Really small. But that tells you something happened on August 18th that might affect your data in this case. So if you, go, if you go, if you make a note on today in your Google Analytics, because you noticed you, you did something that's gonna affect your data. Mm -hmm. When you come back in a couple of months, you're looking at why did data suddenly what decrease on September 1st? You remember, oh yeah, oh yeah, I fixed that or I did that. I always do this whenever I launch a new website. Right, so I at the very least I can remember when I launched because years down yeah. the line I want to go. When did we launch? Oh, um, you can also create a private annotation. That is only available to you. Okay. So that's... shared means anybody who has access to this Google Analytics account, not your Google Analytics password, but your this account. So anybody who, it, like if you had a business and anybody who has access to that Google Analytics profile would be able to see it. Private means only you, the person logging into Google Analytics can see that note. Okay. So let's say I had a staff. If I made it private, only me logging in would get it. But if, if, if Lavanya had her own separate login to Google Analytics for my website, she would not see the private notes. She would only see shared notes. Yep. So that's really nice feature because it's so easy to forget when things happen. So for instance, like one other feature I could use the adding notes. Uh, why did, why was there a ton of traffic on Sunday? I don't know. What if, what if like uh, I, I have a, a partner who um, is gonna talk about me on a podcast? I, I, I'm, this is oh. coming up. And so when they talk about me in the podcast, um, I, they're not interviewing me. I could go in and make an annotation. This is when the podcast was launched. That's really helpful because he's just talking about me in a podcast. He's not like linking to me where I could add UTM codes and know where it came from. It would be just a spike, right? <laughs> if one of, one of the reasons, so I could add a note on this day to say, oh, this is when the podcast was launched. So at that point forward, 
Yeah, there's all kinds of really great things you can do with the annotation features within Google Analytics. Okay, good. Yeah, I just went in the site that launched last night and put a note that it when it launched. So, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that. I think that'll help you, right? Because what you could do is you could create a really long time scale. I want to see everything for the last two years. And then you'll find yeah. out, oh, what were the big moments in this website's history that might affect data? Yeah. And this is one that before, like, it was just a forwarded domain. So. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, it's it's really helpful when it goes to things like, okay, since we launched the new website, our traffic has doubled. I set a time frame between when it launched and today, and I have compared the previous period. Immediately know how 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 the traffic's performed since we launched. Yeah. Right. 